Okay, here's a look at my collection of the Masterpiece Decepticons from Season 3. And here's just a quick look at the figures that I have in this incomplete collection. And um, let me just say that there's really nothing special about my collection compared to other people who are also collecting the Masterpiece uh, figures. But I did want to make this video just to document the figures that I have in this collection. Um, so, starting off, let's uh, start off here with the Fans Toys Galvatron. So here you could see he has this uh, nice uh, cartoon accurate purple color. Uh, so when this first came out, you know, I thought this was uh, really cool. But then when the uh, the M version, metallic or movie, whatever M stands for, came out, I was actually not really happy with this figure anymore because uh, the, the bluer color here looks totally uh, better than this purple one, in my opinion. And that's only because this one's more movie accurate. But um, I realized after watching some of the cartoon episodes, this is the way Galvatron appeared in the cartoon. He is this purple color. So this is more a cartoon um, color. And let me just point out real quick that uh, before this, there was the DX9 that I had. And that's a figure I gave away. And uh, that one was kind of cool because it... Um, had the light feature which was really cool and fans toys does not have a light feature so uh, that may or may not be a good thing depending upon uh, what your preference is but anyways um this is uh the first uh galvatron or masterpiece that i have that's a uh, very cartoon accurate and um yeah after that, there was the uh, Cyclonus that you could see back here. And when this came out, I was kind of disappointed because um, his face, biceps, thighs, they're white. And that's not movie or cartoon accurate. So I'm not sure why they did that. And I was really hoping that Fans Toys would uh, fix the colors because when X Transbots back there their first version you could see his uh, abs there is pink and I thought well they showed some prototypes with the pink face and biceps and thighs but this is what we got so I was really hoping that fans toys was gonna fix that for us but no this is what we got with their first version but you know I'm okay with it because um, these two guys they look okay they kind of fit in with my cartoon uh, collection of Masterpiece. Because over here, this, this is actually what I like in my work in progress. Uh, really hoping to get that Scourge hopefully by the end of this year. So here, this one, I'm totally happy. I mean, look at this gorgeous uh, metallic blue color, which is very movie accurate. And I like the uh, transparent uh, cannon here. And the other one, I, I use the, uh, the plain one to kind of match the cartoon aesthetics. But anyways, this is really cool. And um, yeah, I actually paid more for this because I, I really didn't know what the difference was. And so after I figured it out, I ended up having to pay that aftermarket price for this. And I also had to pay aftermarket price for this one also because um, I had the same problem. I didn't realize that there was, you know, what the difference is. But here you could see, yeah, there is a big difference. So this one now has kind of like that pinkish, uh, pinkish purplish shade for the thighs and the biceps and the face and the hands. So this is really nice. And of course, uh, really waiting to put Scourge in the sweeps there. So I actually have on a pre-order four of them. And I'm thinking I might get another four more. I don't know, I'm just being really crazy.
But it's in terms of uh, Masterpiece, Decepticon, Season 3 collection, it's very limited. So the other one we have here is, um, I forgot, this is uh, KFC's version. This is their first version of Octane and I don't want to pull him out. You could see he's backed up against the wall because he has some um, balance and stability issues. I mean, if you've seen the reviews, I mean, this is not really a well-designed figure, but it's kind of like x Transbots. I mean, it does look okay, with the exception that his wings are, I think they're just a little too long. Um, but anyways, that's a look at that. And... You know we're missing a lot of the Season 3 figures such as uh, the Predacons and then uh, Soundwave's other cassettes. The Oh, yeah, I do have the official Rat Bat, but I didn't bring it out. Um, but yeah, the Slugfest, Overkill. So I'm actually hoping that when Fans Toys gives us a Sound Blaster, those cassettes, we are hopefully going to get a Rat Bat a buzzsaw and a slugfest and overkill so that's kind of what I'm hoping with that and then I'm trying to think off the top of my head um, the other season 3 Decepticon figures they're actually going to come out under the X Transbots so we know there's um, Run Amuck Runabout which uh, I don't know maybe the end of this year or early next year we'll be getting but um, Let's uh, just go over the X Transbots because uh, we know that uh, they are giving us uh, Galvatron. But here I'm going to start sharing my thoughts. Uh, so first of all, let's see. Here is their first Cyclonus, and like I already pointed out, I was really kind of upset that uh, his abs were not the same color as his. You know, well, the face, biceps, and thighs were not the same pinkish color as his abs so yeah that was one issue I have but then uh, like all like almost all of X Transbots figures their design is really bad I mean they try to put in all this unnecessary stuff I'm trying to see where it is yeah you can see um, this plastic here this thin piece this is just not good design in short so it broke and I had to super glue it and um, yeah so like a lot of X Transbots there's a lot of issues but um, their sculpt is nice even though X Transbots version of Cyclonus is definitely bulkier um, there's something that still does look nice about this and then uh, <laughs> their Scourge that came out the issue with their design, the feet, the transforming that, that's just so bad. And then uh, the other issue, uh, which is, uh, you know, his, um, I don't know what you call it, his uh, little crest there. Like I didn't put it on because it easily comes off very easily. But again, they try to do all this stuff, like adding, um, all the bad lights and features and stuff to it but yeah there, there's definitely issues uh, with this figure and um, you know they're, they're trying to make a money off their figure so following fans toys you know that's when they did a, a reissue trying to make a metallic version so you could see pretty much the same issues. The only difference is it's just a metallic color and it's a darker blue. Uh, it does look nice. And I will say, you know, collectively these look nice. And then this one, I, I have to admit the colors on here definitely looks nice. Look at that nice uh, lavender color here. This really looks nice. And then this is just, ups you know uh, your preference on aesthetics but he is bulkier but I do like the sculpt and the color so I actually I do like this and because I have all of these of course I'm gonna get X Transbots version of Galvatron even though I think you don't need it because I think 
Fans Toys first version of Galvatron fits in with this collection really nice. But uh, just for the sake of um, staying complete, uh, I think I will go ahead and get um, the X Transbots version of um, Galvatron. And then um, since I have this, um, this is a unique toys version of Octane and I really don't know what to call it other than you know this is a masterpiece wannabe because <laughs> this is technically still uh, the Chug era design uh, where it is a little stylized and the scale is off he's too small for masterpiece and too big for the Chug but um, yeah, if you just look at it, I mean, it does look like it fits in pretty nice with this set. So, yeah, and then, of course, um, uh, the run amok, run about, when those figures uh, come out added to this collection, I'm sure that's going to look really nice. And uh, we are waiting for the other Season 3 characters, which are the Terracons and Predacons. So that's why over here, <laughs> these are uh, my fill-ins. Um, these are technically not masterpiece. This is kind of like the um, the Octane by Unique Toys I pointed out. These are kind of like wannabe masterpiece because these are technically the uh, Chug era figures because um, they're too big for the Chug and too small for masterpiece and it's the aesthetics are you know have that stylized look to it not very cartoon accurate or you know like uh, the trending style today but here's just a quick look and I think you know this is a nice fill-in for now um, yeah these guys <laughs> They, yeah, they, they're not cartoon accurate, uh, they do have that stylized look to them, but these are still kind of cool. And just letting you know, I, I never combined this set. But I do know that um, the combined set is not really cartoon accurate, it's based more on the toy. The head is, is white, it's not that... Uh, maroon color that dark maroon color and he is about the same height as this mastermind creations uh predaking so yeah uh that's uh pretty much it i don't want to get all into it i just wanted to just go over what i have in this collection but like everyone else we definitely need um an update we definitely need a uh, uh, masterpiece uh, Predaking and uh, Abominus in that I guess that scale that people are looking for that 22 inch height or something and more cartoon accurate but for now these are nice fill-ins and like I said there's a couple of figures missing like the run amok run about and uh, yeah hopefully we're going to get a, a new Octane as well. But anyways, that's a, a look at uh, my Season 3 Decepticon Masterpiece figures. Really nice. Galvatron and his Decepticon lieutenants, the sleek and awesome Cyclonus, and the mighty Scourge, the master of the dreaded sweeps, strike fear throughout the universe. Their ultimate goal, to reconquer Cybertron and destroy the Autobots.